Hey guys, this is Chris, and you're watching Ready to Die Fighting. And today, I'm working on head movement. But not just my head, I want to move my whole body to get away from my opponent and put myself in a better position to counterattack. That's what I'm working on right now. Um, typically, I'm not very good about moving. I'm kind of, I don't know, like a tank or something, and I, I have a bad habit of just absorbing hits in order to give a hit and that is just a terrible idea. I have to break the habit of that. Um, as I've said before, my goal needs to be to not get hit in the first place. At least minimize as much as I can. Because um, on the streets, that could be pretty dangerous. So, traditionally, I'm a, or not traditionally, but I'm a Taekwondo martial artist first. And so my default is to do those Outside, inside, or sorry, I did that back. Inside, outside, outside, inside, style of blocks. You know, I do that all day long. That's how I would block traditionally. Um, you know, or some variant of that. You know, sometimes just using my hand, kind of like palm striking the, the, the arm or whatever that's attacking me to redirect it is uh, what I'll often do. But I really need to work on just not being there. Just if somebody's punching me, just don't be there. That's the your best bet to not get hurt, right? Um, and so I've been working on slips this way, and I've been doing the whole uh, bob and weave type of thing, and that's that has actually been effective. I'm seeing progress, improvement, I should say, um, from doing those type of drills and focusing on that for the last few weeks. And uh, it's not as good as I'd like, not as good as where I should be, but improvement, and that is very encouraging. Um, but I'm still staying pretty stationary, and so I want to start incorporating 90 degree pivots. And how's that going to help me? Is a mar moving target is much harder to hit, for one, and two, it can position me in a, I guess, better position to counterattack. So if someone's coming straight at me and I just stay in this one spot, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm kind of a sitting duck. I'm easy to hit. It's easy for me to hit this person too, but I know exactly where that is, right? It's, it's just right there and that's not hard. Um, the second I pivot out of the way, now this moving target or this attacker has to stop. I mean, they've already got momentum going this way. They've got to stop that momentum, figure out where I'm at now and redirect and the amount of time that they're trying to change directions while well, i'm off to the side and i can attack them right and that's that's a great counter attack so that's what i'm working on right now is avoiding the punch repositioning counter attack that's what i want i'm not so much focusing on the counter attack to be honest at this point i'm really just doing step one and two so um and what does that involve First, I gotta slip the punch, right? Punch is coming at me. I gotta get out of the way. I gotta clear, address the threat. Uh, the, the current threat is to get out of the way of that punch. So I'm just slipping to the side, but I'm also taking a little baby step forward as I'm doing it. So just a little. And I just like putting my hand there, just a little extra security. Um, and then once I'm comfortable with that little baby step, the slip, I can now add that 90 degree pivot. And so what's happening is my back foot, my back leg, I'm just sliding that across the ground. The front leg stays, just kind of pivots, but the back leg slides around in like a C shape, I guess you could say, or semicircle, quarter circle. And I'm just pivoting to the side. I'm staying in my standard fight stance. So the uh, front leg stays pretty much stationary and just pivots like this. It kind of does a rotation there that way while the back leg slides and gets you into the max position. Slides behind you basically. So the small step forward, pivot. Shifting to the weight to the front leg, and then just dragging the back leg behind you. So a small step, and a pivot. These mats. 
that's a really nice. Combine those two together. Pivot. I mean, sorry. <laughs> uh, step and slip. Pivot. And then I can attack. Step and slip. Pivot. Attack. Now that's super slow, but just building the motion, right? The jab on that one, but whatever. And then once I'm comfortable with that, let's move it faster. So that's the drill. That's all I'm working on. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not even difficult. Uh, but I just want to build this basic movement so that it's in my toolbox. Because right now it's not. Uh, it's not something that I go to at all. I don't. I don't pivot at all when I'm sparring. And so, because it's, it's not the muscle memory isn't there. I don't have the habit of that. It's not in my bag of tricks, so to speak. So building that muscle memory. Um, building it also just in my brain to think to react to do this because uh, right now I don't it's something I would have to consciously think of um, probably after probably after two seconds after it's already too late after the punch is already you know gum and I've uh, blocked it or gotten hit or whatever the case may be then I'll probably think of it and that's not what I want I want to build this into muscle memory so that I just react to do this the same way that I react to just block I want to just react to do this. Actually, I'm not doing it quite right now. I'm just pivoting. <laughs> there you go. That's what I want. So, I've been working on this for probably two, two maybe three days, I think. Uh, so, it's not there yet. It is getting more fluid, it's more comfortable. I can feel that it's getting better. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, see how this works out for me the next time I spar. All right, so as usual, I'm always open for feedback and comments. Let me know what you think, if this is helpful, something that you could incorporate to your workout, or if I'm just doing it wrong. I'm open to saying, you know, you tell me, Chris, you suck. People tell me that all the time. Tell me how terrible I am, it's fine. I'll work out and I'll get better. After I cry. Like, subscribe, leave some comments, and uh, I haven't done a boxing video in a little while, so um, I've been working on gun stuff more, but I'm still working on this stuff, still, still working out quite a bit, just haven't recorded much, so, uh, but we gotta focus on that, this is a, first and foremost, a fitness channel, so, um, you know, fighting channel, so, gotta keep that in mind, gotta keep these videos coming out, alright, hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.